Hey guys, how's it going? Nuka here. Um, this is vlog number five for me, and I'm going to be talking about Titanfall. Uh, I have Titanfall for the Xbox One, and I thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, just going to kind of tell you parts I like, and maybe a few parts I didn't like. Um, let's start with the campaign, because everybody, a lot of people are bitching about the campaign, because the campaign is terrible, and they want a campaign. Well, I don't know for sure, but my guess is that everybody was bitching before I launched about the camp that there was no campaign, no campaign, no campaign. So they threw this crappy little story mode together and called it the campaign. And what it is is it's different maps and game types that you play with other people. It is multiplayer, six on six. And it's got a storyline kind of is sprinkled in there. And half the time I can't even hear the storyline because of everything that's going on, and I'm not listening anyway, to be quite honest with you. I'm just there to play. I don't give a rip about the story. Uh, I just want to play. That was that was how I felt going into it, because I was really excited to get the Titan in on. But anyway, so it's nothing thrilling. You play the first the first set. There's like two halves to it. First half, you're the militia. You play as the militia, and you play specific um, game types of maps. When you go, when you finish that, you get an achievement. Then you go to the second part of the, the uh, campaign, and you play as the IMC, which is the same maps, the same game types, just from the, a different view, I guess. I don't even, I don't even think the storyline that they sprinkle over this so-called campaign is any different on either side. It's the same words that they're talking, I believe. I didn't notice anything different. But then again, I really wasn't listening, so if you guys are interested, you're going to have to check it out for yourselves. Um, I wasn't thrilled with it. I don't care about the campaign. Um, getting the gamer points for it was awesome. You got, like I said, you got um, an achievement on Xbox One for the first half and the second half of the campaign. Then you, there's an achievement for playing 50 chapters, chapters of the campaign, which I think works out to five or six uh, playthroughs of the campaign on you know both sides of the complete campaign I can't exactly remember how many chapters there are on each side I don't remember so I think it's five or six complete playthroughs of the campaign there's so called campaign to get that achievement there's also achievements for for winning every chapter of the campaign I don't have that I don't have 50 uh, chapters of the campaign either I could care less at this point um, I'm, I know I'll eventually get it because I'll play with friends. So, yeah, whatever. Uh, the point, the things I love about Titanfall, uh, the Titans, the mechanics, um, I love just everything about it for the most part, well, except for the campaign. Um, there's like six different game types. There's Hardpoint, which is like King of the Hill. If you're familiar with Gears of War Judgment, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. You got A, B, and C. Uh, capture points and capture them and the team that makes it to the allotted point goal you know you make it to the goal wins it's nothing that big I don't like domination that's basically what it, that's what it's called in Gears of War Judgment uh, Titanfall calls a hard point I don't like it I'll play it when I'm with friends and stuff that's fine but as you know just as, if I have a choice nah I'm not gonna play that and then there's attrition um that is basically like a death match. So you get points for the kills. Um, you get one point for a, a grunt and a minion. One point for a grunt and one point for a minion. Then I believe titans are five points and I think pilots are five points. Pilots are your real everyday people that are playing. Um, so those add up for your team. And you know, as a collective, whoever hits the point, the point, uh, Point cap first wins the game. Pretty simple. Um, that game type's okay. I have I have fun with that. Um, last tight or no? Let's not. Let's leave that one for last. Uh, let's do the. Let's talk about pilot hunter next. Basically, that's exactly what it is. You're just hunting each other. Kind of like a free for all, if I remember right. I didn't. I think I played it a handful of times, so I don't really remember. And you get points and first person or people. Or team maybe it's a team I don't remember that's how much I didn't I didn't even pay attention I'm like running around with you know 
waiting for my ti my Titan, and then when my I'm, my I can get my Titan, I'm calling it down, jumping that Titan right away, and going and blowing shit up. I'm not even really playing the team thing. <laughs> I should be because you want me to be a team player. You know, you want to be a team player, but right now I'm in the mood of just that Titan so awesome. I just want to beat it in all the time. You know, so I've been having a lot of fun with that. Uh, capture the flag. It kind of reminds me of like Halo's capture the flag, which. I don't like it. I'm not um, hard point and capture the flag in Titanfall. I don't care for it at all. Um, I'm sure I'll play with friends because I, I have friends that like to play it. But as far as me, nah, I can go without. This doesn't mean they're bad game types. They're just not. I just don't like them. Just my opinion. And then we have last Titan standing. You get one Titan. You spawn with said Titan. Uh, that's the gameplay you're watching right now is um, a last, last uh, tight standing match. Um, your team's a six, and you just go whoop the hell out of each other. It's a little strategic. The maps are pretty cool. I like all the maps, except for maybe one. I think that one's called Sierra. It's not that I don't even like it. I just don't enjoy it as much as I do the others. Um, I'm not going to tell you why or anything. You guys are going to find out for yourself. So, yeah, and then there's the variety pack. Now what the variety pack is, is when you go into the lobby, you start off on a game and it cycles you through the games and all the maps. All the games and all the maps. So you can stay in there for an extended amount of time and just keep playing. And earn your kills and get your challenges and, you know, earn new weapons, etc, etc. Earn burn cards. It's pretty cool. All those things um, help you as you go so that when you open the the three different titans. There's a Alice, which you start out with, then there's a Strider and an Ogre. Um, those are the different types of titans so far. Um, Atlas is a little bit chunkier kind of titan. He's a little heavier, but he's not the heaviest. Uh, he moves kind of fast, but he's not the fastest. Um, he's kind of like a mid-range. Then there's a Strider, and the Strider is built thin, and it moves fast. Um, you can dash around more in, in the Strider. And then the last one you open is the Ogre. And the Ogre is a big, beefy mech. And uh, he's kind of slower. He has a dash, but it's like slow. <laughs> you get one dash, whereas the Strider, you get like three. The Atlas, I don't remember how many dashes you can do like within a certain amount of time. But overall, um, the one I hang out in the most is the Ogre because I like to get in there and rattle it up with, with my uh, chain gun and punch. I like to do that so the ogre can take a lot more damage. There's different shields, there's different weapons, there's different, there's just, there's a lot of cool things that they've incorporated into this game. Um, a lot of people say, well, it's just Call of Duty with mechs. No, it's not Call of Duty with mechs. I'm not a Call of Duty fan, and if you are, that's great. Everybody's different. But I myself do not like Call of Duty. This, I played Call of Duty twice, for maybe 20 minutes a piece on multiplayer. I'm not a big fan at all. I don't like it. The difference for for me between Call of Duty and Titanfall was Titanfall keeps me much more interested. The, the mechs are just freaking awesome. I mean, a big-ass robot falling from the sky that you get to jump into and pilot. Holy crap, I just have a lot of fun with that. That is just like a total stimulation, brain stimulation for me. I really, I have a lot of fun with that. Running around, sliding around, ducking, you know, being a little strategic. The maps are great, by the way. Um, so that's about all I'm going to say about this, because if I get too into this, I'm just going to tell you everything. <laughs> uh, bad thing I do, like, one, one thing, 90 seconds in between matches. They do that so you can switch things up, but I think it's a bit too long. I hope they shorten that to 60 seconds. Also, I would like to see them get rid of the smart pistol. That's a pain in the ass. It's like cheating within the game. I don't like it. Uh, but if you do, that's okay. And I'll probably use it. If there's a challenge for it later on, I'll use it. But that's that's 10 out of 10 for me. I like it a lot. I had a lot of fun with it. And I hope you guys do too. If anybody wants to play, my gamer tag is actually Rodney Full X. It's the same thing as my YouTube name. Uh, so yeah, send me a follow or a message and say hey want to get together and play because i'm all for it please like comment and subscribe and once again as always thanks for watching guys